In this video, we're going to have a look at an equilibrium problem about resolving non-perpendicular forces, but one that doesn't involve friction. So the question says a block of mass 50 kilograms, there it is there, is an equilibrium on a smooth horizontal ground with one end of a light wire, this white light wire here, attached to its upper surface. The other end of the wire is attached to an object of mass m kilograms. The wire passes over a small smooth pulley and the object hang hangs vertically below the pulley. The part of the wire between the block and the pulley makes an angle of 72 degrees with a horizontal. A horizontal force of magnitude x newtons acts on the block in the vertical plane containing the wire. See the diagram. So basically all that text there has just described the diagram and usually you'll find that's the case. Sometimes seemingly complicated words are better described by just looking at the diagram. So the tension in the wire T newtons is T newtons and the contact force exerted by the ground on the block is R newtons. Let's try and get all of this information on the diagram now. So we know that it said there's a contact force acting upwards of R. We also know the particle has a weight of 50g, 50 times 9.8, and the tension in the wire is T. So from the block's point of view, the tension's pulling it upwards. From the particle's point of view, the tension's pulling it upwards again. So we've now got all the forces on the diagram. Let's have a look at the question. So it says, by resolving forces on the block vertically, find the relationship between T and R. Okay, so part A. So we're taking vertically to be our positive direction. So anything going upwards is positive. So R going directly upwards. And T has a component going upwards, but not all of it's going upwards. Some of it's pointing to the left as well. So what we're going to do is use this triangle here to try and split T up into its constituent parts. So the hypotenuse is T. So the vertical component is the opposite side, the side opposite the angle. Oh no, from soccer too, that sign is opposite. So it's T sine theta. In this case, theta is 72 degrees. So that's everything pointing upwards. Take everything pointing downwards. Take 50 G. So force resulting always equals mass times acceleration. Well, the system's in equilibrium. It's not accelerating. So acceleration is zero. So mass times acceleration is zero. And there we have it. We've got our relationship between R and T. So part two. Well, the text above part two says it is given that the block is on the point of lifting off the ground. So this is very significant. So looking at the block, if it's just about to lift off the ground, it's essentially not touching the ground anymore. It's just at the point of lifting off the ground. So this contact force with the ground, since it's essentially not touching the ground, is going to be zero. So from this, we can deduce that R equals zero. And that's a really important point. If it's a, at the point of lifting off the ground, it's not quite touching the ground anymore. Therefore, the ground doesn't exert, exert a reactive contact force on it. So now it says, show that T was 515. Well, if we take the equation above, now that R is equal to zero, this equation, equation reduces to T sine 72 equals 50G, which means that T equals 50G over sine 72 equals, put in the calculator, 50G divided by sine 72 is 515, which is what we're asked to show. 515, the three significant figures. So now finding the value of M. So we're gonna resolve for the particle. So I'm going to take up to be our positive direction again. So going upward, we've got T. 
tick. And it's at this point I realise that I've actually forgotten to put the weight of the particle in the diagram. And that's very important. The mass is m, so the weight is mg. So I should have done that right at the start when I was doing all the forces. So going back to resolving T, all the forces going up, take mg equals mass times acceleration. It's not accelerating, so it's equal to zero, which means that 515 equals 9.8m, which means that m equals 515 over 9.8, which is equal to, so 515 divided by 9.8 equals 52.6 to three significant figures, 52.6 to three significant figures. Finally, part three, which we're going to do in the bottom left of the screen here. By resolving forces on the block horizontally, write down a relationship between T and X, and hence find the value of X. So let's take to the right to be our positive direction. So everything pointing to the right is X. Take away everything pointing to the left that's attached to the block. Well, again, looking at the triangle that we used before. So T makes a triangle there where T is the hypotenuse. We this time want the horizontal component, the adjacent. Well, we know from Sokotoa that the adjacent is cos. So X take T cos 72. equals mass times acceleration and it's not accelerating so that's equal to zero so this implies x equals t cos 72 so it equals 515 cos 72 equals 515 correct that 515 cos 72 equals 159, 159 newtons. And in the linear math spec, units seem to be more important than they were in previous specifications. So actually doing a check of my answers before, I see that I've forgotten to put some units on some. So kilograms there for the mass, tension is measured in newtons, and that's that. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the thumbs up at the bottom if you like this video.